Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tech Stack channel. Mm, so this is another tutorial for this app. So in this session, how we can create the one automation and how we can run that, we can see this. So everything we are going and creating on the um, cloud side itself. So if you want to create any automation, you can see this, come to this page lobby. Under, uh, under this lobby, you can see this. This one, if you want, you can hide that also problem, no issues. So you can see these three things are there. One is uh, create, this one should be import. If you have already any automation, you can just import here. This is a refresh button and this is a filters. So right now we are moving to the create option. Just click on that create. So once you click on the create, you can see this what you'd like to do. So here build an application, build automated process, uh, build business tool. So right now we are able to see three different uh, types of process, but uh, we are able to get access for this only. Right now this is a trial version, no? so that's what we are getting. When you go to real one, so you are able to the, uh, get all the these three. So right now we are concentrating on the build and process uh, automated process. So just click on this. After that you can go with the business process or task automation. So right now we are moving to the task automation. So just we can create run flow automation, drag and drops the tools. So these are the similar to that, but some small things variations will be available. So just uh, take this task uh, automation and just click it. So right now we can see this another window. So where we can give the project name and description. So as of now I'm giving the test. So this is take your stack first program in SAP build. So basically this we call SAP SAP BPA, so SAP business process automation, or else we can call it SAP build. So just click on that create. So once you click on that, it will navigate to some other page. So there you can develop the automation. So I will show you that as well. So if you go back here, once it is got created, now you can see this, this is a, uh, one process automation which we created right now and we can see this uh, lost access some versions if you have some versions we can see this and if you want to release export rename manage members for example if you want to give the access for anyone so you can manage the things or else if you want to save this process uh, i mean save this project with a new name if you want to duplicate uh, or you can take the backup of this project we can go with this and you can see this delete so if you want you can export we'll see that export option as well right now Okay, just go back to here and uh, it will detect the versions as well automatically. So right now, I'm not sure what type of version it will give. So we'll wait for this and we need to wait. Sometimes it will give the pop-up or else you can just uh, click skip and you can see this the two things are platforms so Windows and Mac. So right now I'm using the Windows. If you're using the Mac, you can go and select this Mac version. Okay, and you can see this lot of versions are available. So right now this is the latest version, uh, which uh, in uh, live also we have the same version similar to that and just click on this confirm. So after this confirm, so we need to give this first automation. So this I will make it as first automation. Okay, and you want to give this, uh, this is identifier by default it will take no issues. And if you want description, give any description, I will just type it here. So after this, just click on that create. So once you create that, we can able to see some, I mean, these SDK packages all are by default, it will add, uh, add no issues with that. Okay, now this is done. Okay, just we created, uh, this is a Canva, which we, where we are editing that code. So this is a uh, just uh, thing. And downside, you can see this design controller. Uh, if you got any errors or warnings, any information, you can able to see this here. Test console, when you're running this automation, we got some pop ups, those things are in. And another one is uh, variables. So uh, this one I not created by default, it will got created. And similar, uh, how we have the variables like integer, string, object, and uh, list, uh, whatever the variables, how we are using other uh, automation. Similar, we have this, uh, uh, this as well and now if you see this here overview so what type of things are available here we can able to see all the things once you click on this plus icon so we can see this if you want to create any alert application project launcher task groups process forms a lot of things are there so we can do that so import uh, this one not required as of now so you can just concentration on this one so we'll going uh, for the classes we'll discuss all the things okay so now this is the uh, 
uh, runtime uh, test so if you're running anything so right now which step is running which steps is where it got struck these things are available and similar we have the watches and the breakpoints. if you keep the, any breakpoints, all the breakpoints, you are able to see this here and this is a play button uh, which you start this automation okay and when you go on the top side you can see this this is undo and redo two buttons are there this under copy uh, and we have a paste another one is a duplicate and this is a create i mean group for example if you have five ten uh, tasks for that if you want to group that like how we are using the sequences under the sequences we are keeping some additions up. so this is a sort uh, replacing and this one okay select or deselect those things and this is a invisible uh, for example if you are drag and activity if you want to uh, enable or disable for that purpose and this is for delete purpose okay and when you come to this tool side uh, you can see this this is automation details this is a tool under this tool what type of controls uh, data activities nothing but as um, uh, strings booleans these and all are available and when you go to activities uh, we have the click activities you can just type here click but this is a very sensitive thing so if you click after that you need to unfilter so if you not give this clear filter then you cannot see the uh, some couple of the things so you can you can see this this many types of clicks uh, some are related to the mouse click some are related to the sdk and some are related to the sap clicks so here only the uh, based on the process based on the things we need to check uh, the particular clicks okay for example if you want the get text so we can give this uh, get text not directly there get element is there okay so get element we can see this get element so similar we have the exist some elements we can go with the exist elements so similar that but the uh, names are slightly changes so when you're uh, going on this way you, you will able to uh, grab that and you can remember that and this input and outputs which is nothing but as a parameters so if you want to pass any inputs from this automation to another automation or uh, you are getting the any uh, parameters from this automation to output so vice versa it will work and this is the information what is this type of information what is the automation run advanced settings so this and all some uh, information uh, which is related to the process okay we'll go there information and you can see this automation and what is the delays between the automations this kind of things information is available so this is uh, just uh, aware of it okay now we'll back to here so now we'll just uh, drag and drop one activity uh, which is related to uh, like uh, uh, log message we'll write uh, i mean we'll run that one okay just type here log message okay just drag and drop. okay just go to insert and you can see this type label and tester advanced so this will will get to know once then. so if you want to add any data here just expand this just click on this pencil icon is enough. just click on that and it will go in here so here we cannot write any functions directly uh, if you know that functions by default you can write it or else you need to go this if you want to do any string operations you need to go these uh, things and we need to elaborate and operations automatic these seven things and variables if you have any variables uh, it will display here so right now i am just displaying my first program okay so just click on save expression so once it's done make sure that uh, if you not save anything uh, it won't run uh, if you have any i mean just click on that save so once i click that uh, if i have any errors so it will display here so you can see this all right now error warnings and information all are zero okay now this is done so just click on this uh, button and i think uh, we'll wait for this and we'll run this Okay, maybe desktop agent was not installed. Um, desktop agent was not automated. Okay, here desktop agent was not installed, so that's why it's uh, getting this error. So next class uh, we'll install that uh, desktop agent and we'll run the same program. Okay. So um, meanwhile, you can try to install and export from it, from what we did, these things are there. So these are all having total, uh, previous tutorials. Just try to expand. And apart from this, if you want, we can zoom it, zoom out and scroll up and left and right, it will work, okay? And apart from this, okay, anyway, this and all we'll discuss going forward. And 
yeah this is zoom in zoom out okay so these are all as usual so once you started uh, working on this canva uh, you will get to know something related to it and apart from this when you go this settings uh, this is a general settings uh, screen displays who is a user of this uh, environment variable if you want to create any environment available you can create and dependencies uh, what type of uh, um, sdks are available so if you want you can click here and add this dependencies and configurations uh, right now i have this version so that's it uh, if you want more information about this uh, click on this document and attributes this is the one thing uh, right now i have not given any attributes so that's why the automation was not okay so next video i will do the um, unattributed how we can add this attributes and how we can add this uh, uh, agent to this automation okay if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it make sure hit that like button share with your friends subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn off notifications so you never miss an upload